Guess who? I can't be bothered. Hello! One of the things that I told myself I'm not going to be doing this year is bleaching my hair or doing anything too drastic to my hair because as you can see, my ends are flucked. <laughs> They're bad. So tell me why on earth I am about to bleach the front portion of my hair again. I'll tell you why. It's because I feel like it, because I want to try it out. <laughs> Basically, there's this trend going about the internet at the moment where you lift the front portion of your hair or bleach it or lighten it and then either leave it blonde or else dye it a fun color. This is called the money piece. I presume it is because celebrities wear it a lot, but other than that, I don't really know why it's called the money piece since it's probably the cheapest thing you can get done at a hair salon. It looks freaking incredible. It looks awesome. I love it when people dye it blue, green, pink, yellow, whatever. It just looks fantastic. It's really fun because it frames your face really nicely and it gives you like a bit of warmth or light uh, in an otherwise dark head of hair. My only bit of saving information is that theoretically the bit that I'm going to be bleaching is going to be very tiny. It's essentially going to be a small triangle of hair in the very front of my face and I'm not going to be touching anything else in my hair. That's it. That's going to be this video. I'm actually really craving it because my last color faded out already. There's not much left to it and it wasn't my favorite. So I'm going to go give a good old throwback to my pink looks because after I bleach my little money bit out, I'm also going to be dyeing it and the rest of my light bitsies of hair pink. It is my baby. I love pink. That is going to be today's video. Please follow along if you feel like. Do not judge my decisions. I make a lot of them. What happens when you bleach your hair too frequently? It becomes very porous. What does that mean? Essentially, it becomes very, very dry and it tries to cling on to any tiny bit of moisture it can. Hence why my roots, which have not been bleached, are dry and my bleached ends are still wet. Nearly 13 hours later. That's the bit that I'm theoretically going to lighten. And then because the rest of my hair is more mostly on the dark side, uh, this bit is going to complement my face and facial structure very nicely because we're bringing light into it. I suppose the first thing we should do is part our hair like we're about to part a fringe or cut a fringe. Gonna go back around an inch or a half an inch or three centimeters roughly and pan out into a triangle. Ooh, yeah. You guys know I cut a fringe way back in February and this is it basically growing out so that's why it's kind of shorter. But essentially this is the bit that I'm going to be lightening. Bleach, I'm going to be using the Schwarzkopf, <laughs> Schwarzkopf Blonde Me Bleach. It is one of my favorite ones because it works. I've tried it and used it many, many times. It's blue. You get blue pigments in your bleach to try cancel out the yellow that everyone's hair has. So it's kind of, it's kind of good. And then again, to try to limit the amount of damage that my hair is going to see today, I'm going to be using only a 20 volume developer, again by the Blonde Me Schwarzkopf line. Hopefully this is going to be enough to lift this, but as you can see, it's not like a super dark color, so hopefully it's going to be okay. I also have this thing that I received in a PR package once. It is by a Korean brand, Dr. Bakugu. And it is essentially the RX Plex Perfect Set, or as I like to call it, slightly knockoff Olaplex. Basically, you have a number one and then a number two neutralizer. You add the number one liquid or serum or whatever you want to call it to the dye, bleach, whatever, and this prevents the bleach from damaging your hair too much. And then to kind of neutralize it and nourish it afterwards, you go in with number two when you are rinsing your hair off. I'm gonna be trying this today because why not? Let's mix up bleach! <laughs> So that's kind of how much bleach I'm going to be using. I'm mainly eyeballing this and not really measuring this out. Bleach isn't very strict with how you measure it. You can go either with a one is to one ratio with developer or do twice as much developer. I'm mainly going to be eyeballing it.
kind of like the consistency of a pudding, like a thicker pudding type thing. Obviously no lumps, no bumps, no nothing. I'm just going to add in the number one from this thingy. Adding a few drops of this to our bleach. Great, bleach is done. Before I apply the bleach, let me give you a small little run through of what happens when you bleach colored hair. Now I've been dyeing my hair this entire past year with a series of dyes. That means that about this portion of my hair has layers and layers and layers of dye. And this portion of my hair, which is my brand new grow out roots, has nothing on it. If I were to apply the bleach immediately all over the whole entire strands, this bit is going to bleach a lot quicker and a lot lighter and brighter before this one even reaches an orange stage because that's how hair works. So I'm going to have to bleach this portion of my hair first to try get as much of the dyes out as possible. And then when I see that it's lifted almost to the level that I want, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to my roots because the roots in general lighten very, very quickly. There, the first process is done. This is essentially what's hopefully going to lift the dye out of my hair. I'm gonna let this process probably for around 15 to 20 minutes. And then once it's almost how light I want it, I'm gonna go back and bleach my roots. This has been literally five minutes since I <laughs> said goodbye. It's really blonde. The thing is, I'm not really sure how blonde I do want my my bits because obviously this thing is going to grow out and the color is going to fade and I'm not sure if what's better if like a caramel color is better or if like a white is better no but I think I want to bleach the roots now because that's what I feel like doing incubate it all once more leave it for like five ten minutes i'm not looking for like a super blonde bit but yeah who's ready for really really weird looking hair <laughs> okay so here we are with my <laughs> brand new orange hair i'm actually insanely digging this i cannot believe i did not try it out before this to me like is sick i really like it um it does look really 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 freaking weird the fact that this is orange this is brown and this is blue green gray whatever so i at the moment have a cacophony of colors in my hair this is the color that i'm going to be using today it's a very very dark red hence i'm going to dilute it with half the developer which means i'm going to be using twice the developer to get this color 7982 medium blonde violet red ash that's a long word let's make some dyes going to use um, maybe 30 yeah probably 30 and because I want to dilute it a bit and have it not be so bright, I'm going in with 20 volume developer, same as before, but I'm going to do double the amount. So instead of 30, I'm going to add 60 of developer. But this tutorial is going pretty well. And as you can see, it's a pretty easy thing to do. Granted, I might mess it up in this last bit, but hopefully not. Now I've got my very lovely pink dye that I'm going to start by applying here and then I'm going to be applying all over the bluey bits, which might turn out purple in the end. Again, don't really care. The reason I opted for permanent color this time around instead of semi-permanent is because when pink fades out, it does turn a bit meh. And because I do have an orange base, I'd rather the pink stays a bit longer so that I avoid going to this stage anytime soon.
I'm already feeling like myself. Woo! I'll leave this on for 30 minutes and then style it, put on some makeup, make myself look cute, and show you the hopefully very fun finished result. I'm actually really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. Yeah, baby! Ooh, what a weird angle. Look, I have pink hair! <laughs> This is actually really funny to me. I'll be doing this and then I'll have one streak of pink hair and then the rest of it's just not pink. <laughs> I'm gonna do my makeup and style my hair really, 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 really quickly and then I'll be back to show you the very finished result. I'll be back. Give me a sec. There! Now we have a pink streak in our hair. So here it is. This is the completely finished result. I added a very, very slight wave moment although it just looks like i slept with my hair wet i seriously love this so much i can't believe i didn't think of this before <laughs> this is how it's looking it's quite an intense pink quite a bit more intense than i thought it was going to be kind of renders this money piece useless because usually the money piece or this friend's cheek is quite a bit lighter than the rest of your hair that's where the light comes in but in this case it's not really lighter it's just a completely different color so from here it just looks like I have pink hair and then you're like this and it's like oh no however I freaking love this anyways here it is I like it it really it's really cool I missed pink I really missed this sort of a vibe and I really I'm digging it I like it. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Please give this a go. This was such a fun, fun hairstyle to try. And it was really like easy. There's nothing really to it except bleaching a strand of your hair and then dyeing it. So it's pretty fun. It's pretty relaxed. And it gives a really, really fun little change to your hair. As always, I'm going to be linking everything down below, including the entire procedure. If you want to follow my exact steps, but realistically, you could do this with any color and any bleach of your choice. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go. And I will see you in my next video.